My name is Agnieszka Szemiel. I have been recently appointed the CRASH manager, which stands for COVID-19 Screening and Resistance Hub, which has been recently set up at the Center for Virus Research, where I work. However, before that, I was a postdoctoral scientist who was working on morbili viruses. So morbili viruses are viruses like measles, for example. And how did I get into science? So as you can see from my name, sounds a bit weird. Uh, I'm Polish and I did my undergraduate degree in Poland. And I got into virology by pure chance because I just didn't want to do plant science or just cell biology or bacteriology. And I thought, I know nothing about virology. Let's try it. And I just fell in love with virology. So I've been in the CBR since 2013. Uh, I have been working on Bunya viruses. I've been working a bit on Zika virus. Uh, I was helping with uh, work with mosquitoes. And in the past two years, I started working on morbili viruses. Viruses similar to measles, but we were looking at the animal versions of, uh, well, let's say of measles. Uh, and then 2000 and sorry yeah 2020 happened and suddenly there was this new virus uh, circling around and uh, i remember it was i think end of february where people mid february where people were like okay it's the virus is going sars cov2 is going to come to europe so i remember having these emails from the university saying be prepared that you will be working from home finish your experiments and so on and then suddenly there was this email from the university saying we need volunteers to help with COVID-19 response. And I said, okay, you know, I have experience with uh, containment level three, because one thing that I haven't mentioned, so during the 2015 Ebola outbreak, I had the opportunity to go to Sierra Leone, where I was working in a diagnostic lab, uh, testing samples for Ebola. So I had this experience as well. So I said, yes, I'm happy to help. Just tell me where you want me and we'll help. And then the university shut down for the lockdown. Uh, so just the only institute that was open was our institute, the Center for Virus Research. Uh, and we were divided into sort of mini research groups. So I was put in a team with, a, uh, well, now my best friend, or was, as we call ourselves, COVID twins, uh, because, yeah, so we were working together every day and we were given a task, you have to grow the virus up. So, because in order to work with the virus, we need to grow it up, we need to get stocks of the virus. So, in order to, well, test drugs or characterize the virus. So, we were tasked initially to do that. So, we started to grow up the virus and in one go we were growing up almost a cupful, which doesn't sound a lot, but it is. So imagine you have a mug of tea and imagine that's a cup full of virus and that can last quite a few months in the lab. So once we were setting up that, a few people got sick. We don't know whether they were sick with COVID-19 or whether it was any other illness, but they had to stay at home. So we were asked to jump in and help set up uh, systems or protocols to screen drugs. So because, well, there, was, there is a need for uh, medication to treat COVID-19 before the vaccines are being developed. So uh, we needed protocols. So we needed methods where we can put the virus, put the drug or medication or inhibitor and then see whether this inhibitor inhibits, so stops the virus growing. And then if it does, we can inform the medics, the NHS saying, look, this drug works in our system, in tissue culture, and maybe you can see if you can use it in patients. So such process is very laborious and uh, takes a long time so it's sometimes when you read it feels like oh yeah you know they just did it in five minutes but actually there is a lot behind that because not all the experiments work 
and sometimes as we say nature doesn't play ball so you think everything should work and you put everything and it works great it's a bit like baking you bake a cake you follow the recipe and then it, the cake just collapses and you don't know why and science is exactly the same uh, so we were working in the containment level three lab so it's not very comfortable to work in because right now I'm wearing a lab coat, which feels very comfortable. But for Steel 3, you wear a Tyvek suit. So that's a bit like a plastic onesie. Uh, and you wear goggles and then you wear a fancy face fitted mask. So the lab is, it has, it's under negative pressure. So when you open the door, in theory, all the air should be being sucked into the lab so this way nothing can get out of the lab the setup that we've been using the screens so what we were doing is we were seeding cells in plates uh, i should be able to show you a plate so plates look like the like this let's go back so this is a 96 well plate. So we would have cells in all the wells. So you can see that, I don't know if you can see it like that. So these are like small holes in there. So we would seed cells, these plates. And then what we would do is we would either pre-treat them with drugs. So we would add a certain different concentrations of uh, inhibitors or drugs into these wells and then we would add virus. And then we would incubate these plates for a few days up to let the virus grow. And then we would see whether the cells die as a result of the virus infection or whether they survive. So if the cells survive, it meant that the drug would works and it protects the cells. Uh, we would also look at, uh, for example, by plaque assay. So, uh, I'll get another plate. So I don't know if you can see well. So you can see there are holes here in this monolayer. So every single hole is a representation of a single virus particle. So what we do is we put the virus on and then we put like a solid overlay which doesn't allow the virus to move and then the virus just infects the cells in that particular area and if if the virus replicates and infects the cells it kills the cells if it doesn't kill the cells the cells don't die and uh, we see blue uh, so we've been i think since well march when it all started we have set up, me and my colleague Meredith, we've set up, I think, 70 experiments, uh, which is a, a whole pile of plates, which I think, well, some of the plates you can see behind me over there. Uh, and uh, there is another two or three piles of similar size. So, uh, We've been working a lot and sometimes it feels like you are working, uh, you're working long hours and you are doing a lot, but the results are not good enough. So you go back to the lab and you try again and you try harder and you try get nicer looking plates and you get uh, nicer or better results or you're trying to, you know, see whether you can find drugs that work better and it's almost like a never ending story. Uh, but uh, someone has to do it and uh, if you like science it is exciting so I am doing what I like to do so I'm enjoying my work so in a way it's fun uh, but yes it is hard work but if you're interested in science I would say come to the CVR and help us.